Hi everyone and welcome to a new vlog. So you join me as I'm just about to head out for, I'm going to go for quite a long walk. It's quarter past nine, got up with Helena, I start work at three, uh, I want to try and get my steps in. So I've decided that I'm going to try and walk to Old Windsor. I think in a previous vlog I ended up in Old Windsor without realising it, but now I sort of think I know the route to get there a bit easier uh, and then try and explore there a little bit. Um, so I'll take you along because it's somewhere that we've, fingers crossed, I, I get all the way there without <laughs> having to turn back because I'm so hot. Um, but it's somewhere that I don't think we've documented too much. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it's going to be quite a long walk. And yeah, I am slightly worried about how hot it is. It is 20 degrees. I've put my sun cream on. I'm going to get my cooling towel and uh, put that around my neck. <laughs> I'm opting for not taking a bag because uh, a backpack just gets me a bit too hot. Um, I, I, I would like to get like a little satchel bag. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Um, for like days like this where I'm only taking a few bits and bobs out with me. So yeah, we're going to go and explore. And when I come back, we'll definitely have today, it's something that I've forgotten to do in some uh, previous vlogs, we're going to have a Pirates of the Caribbean fact. I'll do one of those for you. And then I'll also read a fact from the Walt Disney World uh, sort of secrets book that we've got as well. And then we picked up a few pieces from our PO box and we'll go through them. And yeah, just join me for a day of exploring and chatting, yeah, before I start work. I wish my phone had like a fan setting. <laughs> there was just an app that you downloaded and you pressed the button and then it would just blow cold air out at you. <laughs> That'd be amazing. So I've downloaded some podcasts and some music and I think I said in a previous vlog that I'd been revisiting some Divine Comedy albums and actually there's quite a few more recent albums that I've never heard before. And this one called Foreverland I am pretty obsessed with. There's a Toby Carvery. Oh, this is what I've been looking for. I've been walking for quite a while now, maybe hour and a half. <laughs> and there's actually, there's a harvester over here. It's just here to taunt me because I could really do with a drink right now. <laughs> is that a sunken boat? I don't actually know if I'm still in Old Windsor. <laughs> I've been walking for that long. But I also forgot to bring my uh, cooling towel for my neck. But I did remember all my water. So we'll just keep walking along here and see where it leads and what the views are like. I love this. I love walking along a river. Ah, oh, I must be in Old Windsor still. Free mooring is restricted to 24 hour stay only. Oh, so you could actually just moor your boat for a day and it's free. Pretty cool. You came out of nowhere that first time. Just past the sign, I'm in Surrey now. Oh, there's another sign coming up. Oh, blimey, Runnymede, the Magna Carta. This is where we've been before. We drove back here once after visiting Windsor. I think it was when we were checking out the flats. And we went and visited like the memorial. There you go, site of Magna Carta, eight centuries of the rule of law, 15th of June, 1215. Headphones have given up, forgot to charge them. Ah, you can catch a boat trip from around here. It's an old school boat and there's trips on the hour from 11 until 5. I think it was £9 for an adult. I hung around a bit in the shade which was nice waiting for the boat to go but it wasn't so <laughs> I decided to carry on otherwise I'll run out of time trying to make my way along here. The, the place I'm trying to make my way to is I think we've, we've drove past it before and there's like a coffee shop. I don't know if that's really far up. Well I'll keep walking and see how I get on. I think it's only about half ten. This is just so nice. I think I'd really like to do that boat trip. And then there's people with kayaks just going up the river. I can be a goldsmith and you a nomad or a tailor and we don't have to follow 
I just had that dreaded feeling of I'm walking all the way here, but I've still got to walk all the way back. <laughs> I should have done this yesterday when I had a day off. Um, yesterday I went for my second COVID vaccination and today, yeah, I, I haven't felt any side effects apart from I felt a bit like tired last night, like really tired before I went to bed. But yeah, I mean, I'm out and about and my arm's a little bit heavy, but it's nothing like when I got the first jab. Um, so yeah, all good. This just goes on forever. Goes all the way around there. But I think this is my checkpoint. I'm looking out for that coffee shop. Coming up to a statue, I'm pretty sure it's the Queen. I think I saw a crown. I was right. Queen Elizabeth II unveiled 14th of June 2015. Runnymede, the birthplace of freedom. Wow, look at those houses on the other side. I think that middle one's being renovated, but what a spot. I can see a sign, cafe. So this is gonna be the point where I turn around and start walking back. This has given me real holiday vibes walking around here. It's become one of my favorite places. Okay, so I may have gone in the cafe and bought a Magnum. May, I did. <laughs> it's my reward, it's my trophy. So I've got a Magnum question. <laughs> How do you eat your Magnums? I'm one of those people that will eat all the chocolate off first and then move on to the ice cream. <laughs> So there's more Magna Carta stuff over on that side of the road, but I don't have time. Need to head back now, because then I need to grab some lunch before work. Just try and have a little bit of a rest before I start. But definitely have to walk back here and we'll go back over the other side. When Helena and I came that other time, we only came down here, but it goes all the way up to the top. You can walk for miles. I was looking for somewhere where you could rent those kayaks that people were on and like people were weightboarding as well. But I think people were just rocking up with them. Like they bought them, lived nearby, knew that they are able to go out on the river and, uh, and just, just go on them. Which is all right, isn't it? I was very jealous of everyone that was turning up with um, picnic baskets and, and those coolers <laughs> with drinks and food inside sign up here for Savile Gardens. I wonder how close that is. Oh, oh, every little bit of my heart lights up. Oh, oh. I might have made a mistake. <laughs> I decided, because there was a path along here, I thought, oh, I'll just follow this instead of going the normal way that I came. So hopefully this leads me back to somewhere I know and also leads me in the right direction. <laughs> I don't want to be walking any further away. Got some young swans. I'm in awe of all of these houses. <gasps> That's a swan! I never see them flying. One of the houses I passed was for sale, but um, <laughs> I think it might be out of our price range. Look at that. <laughs> the houses look like they're out of some sort of film. That doesn't look real. And I'm pretty sure they've got a classic car underneath the house. <laughs> the house is actually lifted off of the ground with pillars. And then there's a classic car underneath. And then in front of the house, or behind the house, on the river, just a, just, just, just a yacht. So there's all these boats and they've all got these like gated entrances and I like what this person's done. They've just covered it in leaves, make it a bit prettier. Luckily I found a sign. So the National Trail continues that way, Old Windsor this way. Let's go this way. I'm not entirely sure where that Thames path's going to lead me out. These are cute. Again, one for sale. Oh. I've added so much time onto my journey. <laughs> I should have maybe just kept going down the, along the Thames, because I think that would have led me 
quite close to to Windsor and then I would have been able to I would have been able to get my bearings then but I think I'm on the right track now luckily I remembered when I was walking this morning there was a street that said it led to a church and then I just came out by a church and I thought oh hang on a minute this must be that street so I'm coming up to the main road where I can go back on myself the journey I did this morning <laughs> But I am really glad that I walked along the river there and I think that's a, a stretch that Helena would love to walk along. So I have to remember this way or see where that Thames path comes from and see whether you can join it and then walk along because that would be nice. I'm out of breath because I was panicking a little. <laughs> I, don't have any, uh, I don't have any internet on my phone, it ran out. I don't get any new mobile data until tomorrow. <laughs> Never been so happy to see the Toby Carvery. <laughs> Whew! I've made it back. <laughs> uh, I've got the fan out for the first time in about a year because I just needed to, to cool down. Luckily we've got some after sun as well that I'm going to put on uh, once I've been in the shower. But that was really lovely. I really liked exploring that area and I'd love to go back with Helena maybe on a day off where we can actually you know take along a picnic or something so i'm gonna watch some tv i've got two hours left before i start work so uh, i'm back now for one o'clock start at three gonna try and cool off and i'm going to make some food actually i don't have to make anything because it's a leftover gusto recipe so i'll show you that when i've got it uh, plated up it's a, a risotto bacon and mushroom risotto and i had it last night it was really nice so i'll have that for lunch and then I'll show you the bits and bobs that we got from our PO box. So I'm going to dig into this now, and I'm actually watching the story of Only Fools and Horses on Now TV. So I had lunch and thought I would just show you what we got in our PO box. So this is over the past couple of weeks. Uh, we had two items uh, delivered. So thank you so much again to anybody that sent anything to our PO box. Like we say, we, we don't expect anything at all. Um, but very grateful for, for these things that have been sent through. So the first thing comes from one of our favorite small businesses and it's the uh, Ohana Candle Company and they've sent through it's a new mandalorian inspired candle so this is it it's called mando and you got baby yoda on there and you also got the mandalorian so just reading the description from the etsy store uh, it's scented with oak and tobacco aromatic vintage cologne notes lead into a heart of rich sweet tobacco warm spices and a hint of cognac smoky woods of oak ebony and incense combine with dark musks to complete this fragrance so you can find uh, this candle and many others on the Etsy store. And then very kindly, they've given us a 15% off discount code. So this is for use across the whole shop. And the code is, we'll put it at the bottom as well, it's Helena and Martin 15. So there's tons of candles on their Etsy store. We'll put the link to the store in the description. But thank you so much. We love these. And yeah, it's got a really, it's got a really different uh, smell to the other Ahana candle that we've got. So yeah, looking forward to using that. And I love the Mandalorian theme in as well. And then something else that was delivered to our PO box. Um, James, I, I know that you watch the channel. You said that you wanted to send me something and we received it and I just can't believe that you you sent this to me. So honestly, this is from bottom of heart. Thank you so much. You did not have to do this. So in the PO box, I received this beautiful watch, this new watch. Um, so this is an Edifice Casio watch. And like I said, I did not expect anything like this. So all I can do is, is just say a massive, massive thank you I was well and truly shocked when I opened it up. Um, so thank you so much. I am gonna take this along to uh, to a shop and get some links taken out of it. And then I'll be able to wear this. But um, this means a, a, a great deal. So, so thank you, thank you so much. As you can tell, I'm a bit <laughs> overwhelmed uh, receiving this. Oh, just going back to Ohana candle company just wanted to read uh, this out just because you might have been wondering about the candles our candles and wax melts are made up using a natural blend of coconut and rapeseed oil they are completely free of synthetic additives so just in case you wanted to know but yeah thank you so much for those those two items and uh, we just want you to know that it does not go unappreciated um, it really means a lot to us 
So what I'm going to do now, I've got about an hour until work. I don't think I'm going to do a lot, to be honest. Um, I'm feeling a bit tired now. <laughs> uh, I've got a feel I'm going to be a bit sluggish when it comes to work tonight. But I'm sure it all will be fine. Uh, I don't finish until sort of the early hours. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it will all be good and I'll be able to update you uh, when I have my break. And don't worry, I've still got those those facts coming. The Pirates of the Caribbean and then also uh, Walt Disney World. But I might save them for a little bit later on. So I'm just about to go through and start working on food uh, for my break. But before that, it's time for the first fact of the video. <laughs> so this is to do with Walt Disney World. This is from The Hidden Magic of Walt Disney World, second edition. Uh, over 600 secrets. And uh, I'm not sure when this came out, so things might have changed. So if I mention something and then it's changed, make sure you let me know. So I'm going to go for Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid. Uh, so this is to do with the queue. You'll find a memorial to the Nautilus from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea in the queue for Journey of the Little Mermaid. And this one is a doozy. Just before you reach the water fountains at the entryway into the indoor part of the queue, you'll see ropes wrapped around the railing. Stand on the left side of the ropes where the wooden beam is broken and look at the rock work on the other side of the water. Near the waterline, you'll see a carving that doesn't look entirely natural. It's the Nautilus with the front of the submarine pointing to the left. You can also spot it by looking for the two vertical cracks in the rockwork that point directly to the top of the sub. Never knew that, and uh, I'm all about love for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, especially since uh, I watched it last year. Um, there's so many references to the Nautilus. Uh, so yeah, that's the first fact. I'm gonna go through and uh, make food. Oh, I'm excited about this. We're going for chicken chasse Shashlik burritos with mango yogurt. Butchered that name. I'm sorry. So here it is. There is so much filling. And I'm not going to lie, it's a bit too faffy for me. I mean, you're meant to, like, roll it up in foil. But I tried that on one and it didn't work. So <laughs> I think this is just going to be messy. Messy eating. It is just coming up to midnight. I'm talking a little bit quiet because Helena's gone to bed. But it's time for Yo-Ho, Yo-Ho, a pirate fact for you. <laughs> so this is from the Pirates of the Caribbean book. Um, and so this is about Disneyland Paris. And this is actually to do with the restaurant. So between 1992 and 2016, the establishment was known as the Blue Lagoon Restaurant and was run by descendants of the original Spanish Fort residents and the local villagers from the Caribbean that we meet throughout the attraction. Today, the restaurant has become a pirate's tavern whose new owner is none other than Jack Sparrow himself, who, following a bet, won it off Angelica Teach, Blackbeard's daughter. From the lobby, guests can guess what kind of people they might meet from the new decorations, pirate flags, maps of the Caribbean and the New World, and a series of wanted posters for the capture of notorious pirates like David Jones, Hector Barbosa, and even a certain Jack Sparrow. And then what is cool is legendary uh, Imagineer Mark Davis, who of course had such an influence on not only Pirates of the Caribbean but so many different rides. Um, here it is. There's a tribute to Mark Davis on the map of the Caribbean in the hallway leading to the Captain Jack's restaurant. Uh, the artist himself is drawn into a map towards the bottom with his famous cigarette holder, of course. And this is what it looks like, so you've got to keep your eye out for this. There he is. Okay, Whew. I'm, I'm shattered, cause I, but I think it's because of the heat. It is so hot tonight. Uh, I've had a fan on all evening, like, um, just, it was going to and fro and it would like blow on the back of me while I was working. But I've got windows open, but just, there's no breeze whatsoever. But yeah, I'm going to head to bed now, try and get some sleep. But thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you next time. Doodle Pipski!